What's up guys? In this video, I interviewed three Fargo All-Americans. One of them is not only a Fargo All-American, he's a Fargo champ. That's the last interview, so stay till the end to get some good advice. Alrighty, I'm here with Greco All-American, Fargo All-American, 152 pounder, Jaden Williams from Roseville, Michigan. Um, he's a sophomore going into his junior year, he's a cadet and I'm just gonna ask him a couple of questions, you know, about Fargo and like what he did to get to where he got to. All right, <laughs> all right. So first question is, what did you do uh, to mentally prepare for Fargo and how were you feeling about the tournament about a week out? Um, during Fargo, I ain't gonna like, I, ain't, I was real nervous. And so like, I you know I had my first match of course, but me preparing myself, was my warm up. My warm up, I just had to focus on, you know, being 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 a better me. You know what I'm saying? Like sprints, them sprints, back and forth. You know, trying to over overwork myself, so you know I won't have to worry about the the tournament. I'd be worried about what I'm doing and how I'm doing. It. All right. My next question is, uh, like, how did you practice leading up to Fargo? Like, did you change anything, uh, or did you just keep everything pretty much the same? Just like same routine. I say I did change everything. I ran a lot. Like I ran, usually I'll run once a day and practice probably like three, four times a day. And instead like I would run, go to practice, and go running again, go to practice, go running again. It was like a constant thing going to Fargo. My third question is gonna be, uh, how was the, the physical process of, you know, preparing for Fargo? Like as far as the nutrition, you know, getting enough sleep and working out, like, you know. Okay, so. We can say I was cutting weight, you know, I was cutting weight. And I, I I worked on like eating healthy, you know, not fruit, broccoli necessarily, but like granola bars, not, you know, from here and there. I was eating on a granola bar, trying to, you know, maintain my weight besides the time I was there, you know, that's the way it is. All right, my fourth question is, as you advance from round to round, like in the tournament, um, you know, going from round to 64 to round to 32, like, how did you stay locked in and focused and just making sure like, you stayed on your stuff and you were still warming up good and stuff like that? Key thing about me staying locked in is music. Anytime, any tournament, you know, for me to be locked in, I need my music. And that'd be good. All right, and my last question is, um, you know, you took third, right? Mm -hmm. So clearly at some point you took a loss. So what was your mentality getting put on the backside of the bracket and, you know, knowing that you would have to battle back up as well as your mentality on, uh, you know, like going all the way back up to third place. So what it was with me losing and Greco, it was more of a, I got to win the, the rest of these matches. Because in freestyle, when I lost, it was like it was like a meltdown. It broke me a little bit. But in Greco, it was like a, an uplift. It, it, it woke me up, you know what I'm saying? And it made me want to, you know, want to win. So everybody else, I just pinned them. You know. Again, thank you so much. This is Jaden Williams. Uh, he's going to wrestle 165 pounds at Fargo this year. Still a cadet, so sir, sure. be watching out for that. I'm here with Jackson Bloom. He's a three-time state champ out of Lowell, Michigan. 2022 Fargo All-American as well as a GFC champion. So my first question is, uh, how did you mentally prepare for Fargo? You know, about like about a week out. You know, just getting ready for the tournament. Uh, yeah, so I think it's important to just, like, you know, you can't treat it like any other tournament. Like, yeah. try not to, like, emphasize it on anything too big. So, like, honestly, like, I'm just going in and I'm doing my normal routine. And, you know, maybe the only thing that's different about it, the whole tournament is, like, you know, it might be more drastic of a weight cut, something like that. So you got to take care of those, all the outside stuff. Yeah. But, um, and just, like... You know, making sure that you're doing all the little things right so when you go into the tournament, you can feel confident in yourself to, you know, know that you've done everything right to get there. You're not going to emphasize it too much. You're just there to have fun and show off your abilities. My second question is, uh, as far as in the wrestling room, like, how did you practice leading up to Fargo? Did you change anything or did you just pretty much keep the same routine? Uh, yeah, I pretty much just kept the same routine, you know, um... You know, if anything, maybe I dialed it back a little bit um, just because, you know, a month and a half prior, um, 
you know, we were at the camp we were at, we're at now. Yeah. And uh, so, you know, we're training pretty hard. Leading up to us, you know, the week of, it's just about feeling good, feeling fresh. Yeah. You know, making your moves are crisp and all that stuff and your weight's good, stuff like that. So, but that's pretty much it. All right, my next question is, uh, how was the physical, you know, preparation as far as your nutrition, your sleep schedule, and the uh, how much you worked out? Um, so, you know, like sleep, stuff like that, I always think, I think it's super important. Mm -hmm. Like if you want to perform at your best, so you know, like at the least, I'm get, I was getting eight hours of sleep a night. If I could more, you know, like nine, shoot for something like that. Yeah. And then nutrition, stuff like that, you know, I, it's different for everyone. Um, I have my own kind of like diet that I follow. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I just drinking tons of water, you know, it helps the weight come off a little bit easier and stuff like that. And yeah. then uh, in terms of, what was your, what was the other part of that? Uh, your, your workout schedule, like how much you worked out and the way you worked out. Uh, so, you know, like maybe two weeks prior or like two weeks out or a week and a half, you know, I, I dialed back my lifting and stuff like that. Didn't lift as hard. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when I'm in the room, it's not as much live. It's more, you know, uh, play wrestling, stuff like that. Yeah. You, know, just you, you know, you're, you, you, you want to work on positions that you're struggling in more. So, like, you know, if you can play wrestle with a guy, get a good partner, and he can give you good looks, and you can just flow through those positions. Yeah. It helped me a lot with just uh, feeling confident going into there. And, you know, nothing too hard, maybe a match or something like that, but that's it. Yeah. And my last question, because I got to know, uh, I heard that, like, you had a, a stacked bracket. Um, you wrestled Marcus Blaze. You wrestled Bo Bassett. It was actually the time where Bo Bassett placed fifth. I'm pretty sure Anthony Knox was in there somewhere. Yeah. So, like, after you took your first loss, who did you take your first loss to? Oh, let's see. Uh, I think it was... It was Blaze. Okay, so you take your first loss to Marcus Blaze. What was your mindset on the backside of the bracket, you know, like going up each round because, uh, you know, there are double rounds on the backside. What was your mindset all the way up to your placement match? Um, you know, it's, you know, if you lose, you go home. Right. And so, like, it's just about – and I try not to think about that. It's really just, like, let's leave it all out on the mat. You right. know, you're, you took a loss to this good – like, a pretty good kid. And, you know, I felt like I wrestled – a good match you just like got the best of me so it's like you just gotta take a good mentality going into your next match just being like all right i'm still a good wrestler i still believe in my abilities to win matches and stuff like that now let's just go out there and have some fun and like still just like show off like try to show off my skills and what i've been working on and you know whatever the outcome of the match is nothing changes whether you go home or not it's just a wrestling match all right your parents are still gonna be there you're still gonna your friends are still gonna like you and so it's just like just gotta go out there and have fun, pretty much, and no, leave it all out there. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All righty, that's that's all I got for you today. I really appreciate that, man. Yeah. Um, 2022 Fargo All American GFC champ, three time state champ out of Lowell, Michigan. So let's go. Thanks thank for you. having me, man. Yes, sir. I'm here with my buddy Jarrett Smith out of Lowell High School in Michigan. He's a junior. And he won Fargo last year for freestyle, 94 pounds, and he played second in the Greco bracket. So, uh, my first question is going to be, how did you mentally prepare for Fargo, like leading up to the tournament? Like, let's say about a week out. Oh uh, yeah, um, week out. You know, I was on my weight cut. I was uh, really focused at that point. I mean, I was still training hard, but the training, the major portion of uh, training had uh, come to a close and it was getting to the, down to the final preparations, the weight training, and just getting ready to go. Um, I knew it was gonna be a long run if I was gonna make a run at a title and placing, I knew it was gonna take over a week, you know? So keeping the weight down was important. That was a tough mental aspect, I would say. And uh, my second question is, as far as like practice goes, did you change anything uh, as far as like how you drilled or anything or stuff like that, or did you just keep everything the same? Um, I mean, I would say I changed a bit. I knew, I mean, I had about three, tur four tournaments last year in total for freestyle. So every tur every tournament was a cycle I was looking forward to. So it's training the same for every cycle, but obviously, you know, training for junior duels is different than training for. Fargo. I mean, right. it's the same angle of Fargo, but you're 
changing your mindset of what your goals are and what you're aiming for. All right, all right. All right my next question is gonna be, uh, how was your physical preparation in the process as far as, uh, you know, sleeping good, your nutrition and working out? Um, I think it was really important for me all those things. Um, running was really important because you had to, you got to keep your weight down out there, and that's probably the easiest way to do it with how hot it is. Um, nutrition was super important. I think that really really helped me in my run, um, keeping your weight down, and it makes it makes you feel good, makes your body feel good, fuels you, and then practices important as well. And then mentally being ready for the. The, the grind that's going to be out there is also super important. All right. The fourth question is, as you advance from round from round or round to round, you know, like going from round to 32 to round to 16, like what was, how did you stay locked in and focused on the end goal, you know? Um, yeah. I think a big thing for me was I didn't like check my bracket at all last year. I just knew, I, I mean, I kind of knew I was the two seed because my dad said, I mean, every match I wore blue, but he – knew who I was wrestling, he scouted my opponents. I wasn't doing any of that, and that really helped me. I mean, the only really time I knew what I was wrestling for was when my dad told me, like, this match is the place and go to the semis and you're guaranteed top six. So I think that really helped too. All right, my final question, because I gotta know. How did you celebrate your Fargo title once you won? I did not, I did not celebrate at all. You I had celebrate. No, I had Greco weigh the next day at 94 pounds, so I had to, I didn't eat or drink anything after the finals, went straight back, went to bed, woke up and weighed in, and I think wrestled Greco, pretty sure it was the next day, so. Yeah. Did you celebrate once you got back home? Once I got back home, I mean, yeah, a little bit. I had my friend over for a while, he's from Detroit, and he came in, shout out Carl, and yeah, we had fun. Hung out, took some time, like a week or two off of wrestling, and then got back to it. All right. And sort of like the opposite of that, um, you know, going home from a loss in the finals in Greco, like, like what was your mindset on that? You know, were you just like happy that you made it in the, the Fargo finals as big of a tournament as that was? Or like, what was it? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I was happy to get there. I'm not typically a huge Greco wrestler, but, you know, it, it was good to get there, but also the loss... It stung and it uh, fueled me for my next major tournament, which is GFC. And you know, it kind of just put it into perspective that yeah, you you were I was at the highest of highs that I've been at, and then boom, got dropped down a couple days later. So yeah. things can change pretty quickly. And you won the GFC, right? Yeah, I won the GFC. Well, I mean, made up for it. Yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. All right, guys. It's Jarrett Smith, uh, 2023, 94 pound. Cadet Fargo champ, so there it is.